Hey everybody, I decided I'm gonna pop on in and say hi. Um, it is Monday, Martin Luther King um, holiday. I am, it is 10.39, I did not get up until 9.37. Well, y'all, it's been long and hard. Let me do a little recap. Um, I started my journey on, um, as far as my pre-op diet, you all know on January the 8th, and this is going to go up until surgery. I already dropped, loaded, dropped down the first five days vlog well since then i um i did a party you'll see in the in this vlog i went to my cousin's 60th birthday party and a cousin's uh opening grand opening of his uh cbd spot he got over in jonesboro and we had a wonderful time i had i'm not gonna get on here and lie like uh or, or fake or anything i'm gonna tell you the real your girl <laughs> had one cocktail. I had one margarita. I stopped at one. Yes, just one. Because I hadn't been eating. I did the straight up into uh, the 13th without any hiccups. Strictly liquid diet following the uh, program. And the day of my cousin's party, I, you know, I prayed that I didn't fall. I took my drinks. I took... Uh, my shake, everything, my condensed soup with me, girl, I was prepared. But when I got there and I looked at how the caters had all that stuff set up, y'all know I folded. Yes, I did. I folded. I, I, I uh, did a little dancing. I had me one little cocktail and your girl ate and ate good. <laughs> um, but the next day I came home and got back on track. But I'm going to insert a little clip of the party so you all can see it. Just a little snit bit. Um, and we, we really, really had a good time. Uh, so yesterday, um, the 14th, oh my goodness, I just pretty much uh, laid around all day because of the protein shakes. Like I said, they stop you up <laughs> and that makes you feel, you know, and I'm trying and I was trying to uh, regulate myself. I took some mineral oil and some other things trying to get the things to work it inside of me. And I laid down, I laid down yesterday um, and relaxed uh, Sunday after church. I watched my church first and then I just I just relaxed. I needed to let my body relax because I was in pain from being um, backed up. So that's what's going on. So uh, today, like I said, today is Martin Luther King. So I got to get some work done. I'm going to log on to this computer right quick and um, do some things. And I'll be talking to y'all later. I have, like I said, no need to show you every day. I got my coffee and my protein shake here. This is plant-based. This is all I'm doing right now is the plant-based because um, the other one is, like I said, backing me up. So I'm hoping this plant-based protein will start regulating me. All right, guys. I'll be back. Talk to you in a minute. Oh, and today is the 15th, so we start on the 8th. Let's see. 8. Let's count together. 8. 8 is one day. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 8 days. It's been 8 days. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Hey, guys. Good morning. Well, welcome back to Belita's World. Um, today is the 17th I got five more days until my gastric bypass and as you all know I told you in the last vlog about how I got constipated within four days of me being on this pre-op diet well they give us a list of what we can eat they don't tell you 
how to eat it. They give you a little example, one uh, example of a menu. So I reach out to my RD regarding me being constipated. I went from uh, Premier Protein, I started just drinking my organic plant-based protein. Still, staying backed up, it was not helping. So, after speaking to, texting her, I mean emailing her yesterday, she emailed me back. And why did she mention, it's because you, you're not, it's not the protein that causes a person to get backed up when they doing all liquids. It's the fact that they're not getting any fiber to move and then she asked, well, um, what are you eating? So I told her what I was eating. A pro like they said, a protein shake with coffee in the morning, a protein shake and a half a cup of soup, which I realized when I read it, it's a whole cup of soup. They just tell them you use condensed soup, a half a cup um, of condensed soup, and then add a half a cup of water. So it winds up being a cup of soup. Anyways, I had that backwards as well. But um, she says, well, you need some fiber in your diet. I said, well, I'm eating what's on the menu. And she says, well, maybe you need to eat some oatmeal. Duh, I forgot that she do have oatmeal on there. But I chose not to eat the oatmeal because it says it has to be soupy, watery. Who wants to eat watery, soupy oatmeal? And then you're allowed to have applesauce. Well, you all, um, if you don't know, the other day... Um, I ate uh, two little cups of oatmeal before I went to bed the other night, night before last. Not oatmeal, um, I'm sorry, applesauce. I'm sorry, guys, I'm a little lightheaded. Uh, so I ate two cups of applesauce the other night before I went to sleep. So yesterday, after enemas and uh, taking mineral oil, um, I even ate a piece of French toast with some tomato soup for lunch, um, uh, for dinner. That's all I had was tomato soup. I, 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 I kind of went off with the French toast, uh, the sourdough toast, not French toast, sourdough bread. I, once again, I told you I'm a little lightheaded, so I'm, uh, I have to repeat myself. I um, had some sourdough bread with the last of my Smart Balanced Butter. And... Everything start moving a little bit after everything I did yesterday, Paulette and I did yesterday. So I'm not cleaned out yet, but I'm working on it. So this morning, I'm going to take her advice. I don't like soupy water um, oatmeal, but that's why I'm going to get my fiber. It's between the applesauce and the oatmeal. So I have six days to go before my surgery. The next three days... Um, I am still on this uh, liquid diet. Now, three days leading up to the surgery, I have to be on strictly clear liquids. I cannot be on anything that's thick. It has to be watery, clear liquids. So, to get my bowels uh, uh, to move in right, I'm going to continue on with what I've been doing. I'm going to go ahead on, like she said, and I got everything set up over here. I'm going to make me some oatmeal. The difference is I don't have any um, smart butter or anything that's not real butter. I'm going to have to use real butter. They don't want you to, but I'm going to have to use it because I'm not eating no oatmeal without uh, some type of butter in there. And we have a freeze here in Georgia going on. I'm not going outside to the store just to get some butter. Not doing that. All right, guys, so I'll be back in a minute with what I'm doing. Oh, I already have everything set up. Let me move over so you can see it. Um, that's my oatmeal right there. And here's my almond milk. And I got my pot. And um, we're going to get started. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, you guys, this is the finished product. I got my coffee and my oatmeal and this is what I'm gonna eat today to help get me moving talk to you later all right guys well we're getting out today is Thursday and we're gonna take you along with us on a little trip this is probably gonna be um, 
my last outing probably before I have my surgery. Um, on Monday, y'all, I did not realize Monday was right around the corner. I mean, Jesus, we just a few days away from my gastric bypass surgery. And when I get home, you guys, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to tell you the cost of this surgery. Luckily, I have health insurance, but they did send me uh, letters um, with how much it actually costs. And I've never had uh, surgery where they actually sent me the bill uh, showing what it's costing my health insurance for this surgery. All right. So we'll go over that a little later, but we're going to get out and just enjoy this day. I'm here with Paulette, and um, you'll see. It's a surprise. You'll see when we get where we're going. Bye. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Wall Road. Did she, did your friend, um, not your friend, did Sandy join um, the fitness? Okay, guys, this is it. We decided we want to just look at some RVs. So that's where we're at in Hiram, Georgia. This place is called RV Land. And we just decided to come on out and take a look. Thinking about <clears throat> downsizing because Paulette um, is not supposed to be driving big, the big old RV anymore. So... We are here to look at RVs. Hopefully, we can find something um, that we're just looking, really. We don't really want to get rid of Oriva, but she's not, uh, due to her shoulder, we're, she's not supposed to drive her anymore. So, we're looking for something that I could probably drive. Yeah. She's just Okay. Uh, you left, can you lock the car door? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, that's a conquest. I know I don't want to look in her. In her. A rebel. A rock. Rock wood. Hmm. Rockwood Ultralight. Mm. Uh. Ooh, Lord. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a Rockwood Ultralight. Two doors. This one has a front kitchen. Think? <laughs> Tell about it may not matter. Y'all, Paulette, talking about it may not matter because we got dogs. Our dogs don't stink. <laughs> Want to look at the Sundance? I don't think they have anything new here. Huh? I see it. Here, babe, hold us. Take it in there and, and look around. Well, they didn't have hey, it. Hey, don't have it on you. Oh. 
It's the bedroom, I guess, which has a curtain, which is weird. This one is 28, 28,000. Got one of those TVs, I think, that go down, yeah. It goes down. Not too impressed with it. It looked like that one that we saw on YouTube. Stove, microwave, mm -hmm. kitchen area, and no, not a prime pooping spot. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> not a prime. It's a shower. It's nice. It looks nice and everything, but like they must have put. We'll use the telephone with They. I think they put this this lining in here. Mm -hmm. The people put the lining in here, which I really don't like. Little sink. And then the toilet. The fourth one. Oh no! I couldn't. No, not a prime pooping spot. It's too small, huh? Yeah. It's too tight. Paulette, is it the prime <laughs> pooping spot like like Matt from Matt no, I'm say? Like, uh, <laughs> uh uh. We uh -uh. can't do this. It's, <laughs> it's kind of hard when you got something so nice. Yeah. Oriva may may stay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Lord, today. It's okay, okay for like. I got hours. Okay. Oh. It just popped up on the screen. Okay, this is this is a little this is smaller. Way tiny. <laughs> <laughs> this is not gonna work. Yeah. It's like you're sleeping in the living room. We just gonna ask them some questions and go somewhere. And they want 19 for this, so that's not bad. Um. Yeah, they got cockroaches all over in here. They got cockroaches. Mm -hmm. Dead ones. But. Well, they done froze to death. They, nah, those things live forever. I think he's still moving. Yep. <laughs> Shit. Oh. This is cute, but I mean. Spot. This is not the. This is, this is cute. Is, for, hey guys, this is not the RV spot for us. We we need to move on. <laughs> we're, we're, She's over <laughs> it. There's not even a TV in here. I mean, there's a little bitty one, but it's cute for like if you just want to go away for the weekend or something. That's what you know. And you're a size two. And a size two. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll move on to the next one. All right, guys. Well, we're at the second location um, in Atworth. This is more like it. I may find something I like here something worth looking at at least and we are at campers in RV <clears throat> oh yeah this is nice This is nice. Huh? Oh, I'm coming. I'm coming. Wolf dens. I never heard of them. This is the wolf den, guys. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> uh uh, that ain't it. Here we go. Well, it's got the skate lights. It would be lunch. Oh. It's kind of small. It's too small inside. <laughs> That's all. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna be climbing up and on. Paula. This one would work. Look. This. Oh. This one could work. That one will? I know it's got a nice back one. Let me go look. Alright. This is the. What is this one? It's a little bigger. The wolf den? It's hard to get up though. It's got a closet, storage closet. Got a, oh, I can't come up in here, Paulette. Yeah, I know. Got yeah, I know. I said it's going to be a little hard for you to come. This is nice. Doesn't have a microwave. Oh, yeah, it does. It's down, down below. It's got a nice sink. Bathroom's huge. Nice size bathroom. You wouldn't have to walk a country mile. Nice shower, toilet. Stefan or Steven? Steve. Oh, oh, I'm Paulette. I talked to you. I told you we we're gonna head out here after noon. Yeah. yeah. All right. We need some help. Got yeah, it. you can, but just so you know, you can give it. Yeah, I'll get one that goes down the steps too. The bathroom's a nice size. So I got this on. Push the button. I push the button. And I turn that. So on. here's here's but here's my this point about. This is much better. I mean, <laughs> although it's, it meets a certain need, it may not be right for you. Okay. Okay. Here's the thing. This is why knowing what your truck totes oh. is important. Okay. Because I would not tote this with the one that was a 321 at 8,300 pounds. Mm -hmm. Could you do it? Yeah. yeah. Would it be a hassle? Yeah. Yeah, because you're really close to, you'd be towing this one at about mm. 76, 7,700 pounds, and that's way too close to 8,300. Oh. You want to give yourself on something like that, your minimum headroom, mm -hmm. say it was 8,300 pounds, 900 pounds. I like this island. So this this, one, we couldn't tow? This one. I don't know because you oh, have to, have to you, look and see. You have to see if you got the 11, if you got the 392 back, exactly. which is entirely possible. You know, um, wow. you know, I just can't. Then, yeah, all day long. Office car. I know, I've seen that. <laughs> so, this is, like I say, this is probably one of the most popular ones I sell to people that are going to do some work off, off, off yeah. campus and also have some space so they have some room. Yeah, you know, I like Have this. some cooking space. Have That's a, a lot of counter space. You know, the TV's a televator and you got the, uh, you got the fireplace. And of course, the reason they have the outdoor kitchen is because you see under here, there's yeah. no drawers or anything. Yeah. They can carve it out. The reason mm -hmm. you can do it on a, a rear bath in many cases is because there's a place on the side to carve it out. Um, that's why bunk houses have outdoor kitchens because they can carve them out. Oh. I just want to get this. Yeah. I was trying to get you. I just want to have anything else. No, no. This, this is what I'm talking about. Do it come in white? What's that? What? What? No, this is pretty gray. No. Do the color come in white? No. No, just this color. No, this is the old Ford strategy. Have any color you want as long as it's this color. Oh, okay. I like this. But I could paint it, right? You can do whatever you want, man. Once you own it. Yes, I do. This just is not wood. Just, just remember, just remember, if, when you do that, you've cut the value about thirty right. percent. That's right. Okay. And it's just you because. Keep it for life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't think I would get another one. Here's your pantry. I see. 
Is it okay if I make this phone call real quick? Yeah, come right ahead. Come right ahead. This is what I'm talking about. Guys, look at this. It has cabinets. I'm, I'm sorry for the darkness. There's no light in here. Cabinets on this. Um. Oh, this is the sink with the gray. Well, I'm going to put that down. I ain't gonna do that. The stove with the oven and the microwave. The Freon with the fridge. Oh, that's a big old refrigerator. Oh, Lord. She's huge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a big freezer. You can take that down. The freezer's big. Yeah. It comes with a pantry. Oh, yeah. This is nice. And it comes with a workstation, a desk. And the recliner seats, theater seating, with the televator, the television. This is the television that comes up, and it has an outdoor kitchen. So, could we do this? Yeah. If I, if our truck can tow it, yeah. Pockets place to put your put put my CPAP machine. <laughs> yeah. I like the lights. The and the lights. You got closet. Plenty room. of space. Closet room in here. Two drawers. Two drawers and another closet. Yeah. For a little stuff. This is nice. Yeah. yeah. And you got this door. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's it's nice. This door. Mm-hmm. Shower's a nice size. And it has a window here, an emergency window there that I will be able to fit out of if something happened real soon. It has that shower thing. Oh, this is closet. It's plenty of closet space, guys. Yeah. Yeah, it got cabinets on both, closet space on both sides. Of, oh yeah, it's giving you plenty of space. Plenty of space. Hmm. It got what? The towels will go in there, Paulette. Where? In there. That's what that's oh, for. Just roll them up and yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I like the toilet. I like the bathroom. I love the counter space. Yeah. I don't like this carpet. Yeah, but they're all like that. No, they ain't. That's the. What don't you like about it? I don't like the carpet. It wears down. That's what you're gonna get. But I like this floor plan better than any of any of them that I've seen. Yeah, it, w it would need an area rug. Down this hallway. Yeah. Runner rug. Yeah. You know, all that window space. And you put your yeah, I love all whatever. the windows. And it has the blackout oh, shades. Yeah. Yeah, and your computer, you ain't got to put it on the, on the, like, in the, in our Tiffin, we got to put the computer on our, yeah, you can have on a chair our, there. Have your little computer. The table the and computer desk is all in one. How does it change? Oh, the chair is fine. Yeah. Look, I even got room. Yeah. That, now, mm -hmm. I don't lost that much when weight. We come, when we come back and we get it, it's going to be even smaller. Yeah. I You're going to be like, no problem. I can fit in this chair with ease. Come get me on camera, Paulette. Camera, stove, and microwave. Yeah. Stove? Yeah, stove okay. and microwave. And look. Hey, everybody, what you think? We really like this one. Um, if we get it, we won't be getting it to sometime in March. But what what do you all think? And you got it all? I, I, you're supposed to be taking a picture of me. I was. Hi, honey. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Belita's World. Well, this is one of the number one picks. 
um, out of the RVs, and truthfully, I really like this one. I'm, I'm with Paulette. The coloring is not as bright as I wanted it to be, but it is it's gorgeous. It's everything. Well, so I this, really like the, it. And this, this wasn't to try and move you into something that wouldn't work, but you're going to have to take the weights on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I wanted to show you this because... This has some expanse, it has some working area, it has some... You took none of them I don't know what... Today. Oh, there you go. That's yeah. the stock number? That's okay. the model number? Put that number in the website, you'll get all the pictures and all that stuff. Okay. So I'm going to you. Hey, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. This is another day of vlogging. It's January 20th. Um, this is the series regarding my gastric bypass. If you're new, you can go back and check out the other vlogs. And happy birthday to me! <laughs> I cannot sing, guys. But um, this is how the day started off. My son called me and said that he left me um, a little gift here and some flowers for my birthday. So this is my first birthday present of the day. I will try and get dressed so I can at least look pretty. Um, today, on my birthday, I can't do anything. I'm a little weak, as you all know, because I am on the liquid, clear liquid diet. And it's two days before my gastric bypass surgery. So, first thing I'm getting ready to do is make me some tea. That's all I can have. Um, this morning is tea and then this uh, clear liquid protein shake <clears throat> so that's what my day is gonna be like so I am planning on taking pictures today having Paulette take some pictures of me um, so I can have some before the surgery pictures although since I started this journey I have lost a total of 80 pounds um, because my starting weight when I decided to do gastric bypass was 439 pounds and they told me I had to get down to 385 pounds to do the surgery. Well, if you all follow my channel, you then would know that um, I turned around and I got, um, we turned around and we got bad news when I got here to Georgia they said oh no you're gonna have to um, get down to 300 and no they didn't say a certain weight they said you have your body mass have to be 64 uh, bad, body mass index of 64 or less and at the time um, 385 was way over that and they said so your weight target weight would be like 365 well guys you know I hit that target weight of um, 365 and I got approved for weight loss surgery well then <clears throat> they was all surgeries was like six months out so that pushed me to January so they couldn't get me in until two days after my birthday and um, now as you all know I'm down to 300 oh shoot I'm down to 355 pounds so that's where we're at as of right now the scale hasn't moved hopefully by Monday it'll be the move because I've been on clear liquids for the two days but I haven't had uh, BM in two days either so you know what that's saying right all right guys so I'm gonna come back a little later after I have my tea and I get camera ready and um, I'm probably gonna set up the camera so you can see her take the pictures of me all right talk to you later hi everybody welcome back to the leaders world well guess what today I am the big 58 I have my grandkids here and they got me some gifts and we're gonna open them up. First gift I got is a card from my son and his wife and some flowers. 
So we're gonna open this up and see what That's it is. Riley. And the grandkids. Okay, okay, okay. The girls don't want to be on camera because they're not ready yet. Okay. They're I not just did ready. a quick, quick. Oh, okay. He got me a Lane Bryan gift card. Along with a happy birthday, Mom. And I'm not going to read it, but it's love from um, Robert and Val, his wife. And the reason they got me a gift card is because they know I'm gonna be losing weight. And so I'm going in the hospital and I won't be able to wear anything really for about 30 days. So by then I'll be a lot smaller and I may need to purchase some clothes. Next. Mm -hmm. The Davis and Sundries and Kim family. Okay, next. Oh, the one with the flowers and gift card is also from their kids as well. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, KK and my grandson Ryan. Mm -hmm. um, next, I have, oh my God, I have a king size heating pad. And this is from my granddaughter Taylor, Jordan, and their mom, um, Tamara Saunders, and Chanel, and uh, Peyton. So they got me this and um, some shower steam, eucalyptus oil. Oh my God. And you put this in the shower head and it comes out. I love to oh. smell good. Actually, you, you put it on the floor and like makes it like your shower. Oh, is closed. oh you put like it on the floor. Like Since my shower is enclosed like a sauna and I have it like a spa day. All right. Now, I love that. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, I have a gift and a card from my wife, Paulette. I'll show you the card, but I'm not going to read it because I feel that's personal. This is the card. It's beautiful. And let's see. Oh, she got me clothes. She keeps saying that she wants me to have something to wear as I'm losing weight. So she's been getting, she wants me to wear sweats. She know all I wear is dresses, but she's trying to get me in pants. It'll keep you warm. You know? To keep me warm be cold. because it's freezing and I'm always cold. So she got me some Damn. sweats. You could probably wear them now. Right? I can probably wear <laughs> these now. She calls herself getting them for when I get smaller. But I have um, update guys. I started this weight loss journey weighing 439 pounds. I am now down to 355 pounds, which is about an 80 pound loss. So, and I haven't even had surgery yet. And she also, oh, okay, I got a sweatshirt to go with it. It's a big sweatshirt, but at least it's I know. warm I, I because it is freezing out here. So that's my gifts for my birthday. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. I'm not an extravagant person. My family knows that. Oh, my God. And I love all my gifts because it is truly freezing. And I'm going to be enjoying my, my spa day and afterwards shopping. Thank you. And I'll check with you later. Thank you, baby. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Belita's World. Oh, give me a second, guys. Let me put on my earrings. I'm half-dressed. I just noticed they're not on. So, as you all know, today is my birthday. And... Um, I am going to talk to you guys for a quick second regarding um, my weight loss journey. Well, as you all know, I started at 439 pounds down to 355 pounds, uh, about 80 pounds lost total since I started this journey. And I just wanted to go over the cost for those of you who don't have insurance. I've never had them submit bills to me before. But um, because I'm having my surgery at Emory, um, I'm with Kaiser, but they do, they're doing my surgery at Emory in Atlanta. So I got to see the bill. The bill for the surgery is $5,884. Um, and I have a $200 deductible, which um, 
mean Kaiser's pan for 5600 of it, the bill at least, around that. And so if you don't have coverage, this is about how much it's going to cost, probably a little less because, you know, they always upcharge and insurance companies always charge, um, the pro insurance providers always charge companies more when you have insurance. For some reason, I don't know, but I have noticed that. Um, like when I was paying out of pocket for certain uh, procedures, they would be cheap. But then when I would have coverage, it would cost them more. <laughs> Crazy, I know, right? But uh, today is a great day. I have been on my clear liquids. This is day two. Is it easy? No, it's not. That's what I want to talk to you guys about. It is not easy. It's very hard for me. Um, that's for me, Carmelita. I can't speak for anyone else. Um, the last 14 days... It's been some easy days and some struggles as you, if you want to know more about the first four or five days, I'll attach that video to this um, vlog here. Uh, by day six, uh, when I went to my cousin's party, that's the, as I said before, that was the first time that I ate, I fell off. Um, and it took me about three days to jump back on. I ate of that night a full meal but the next day uh i i did eat a grilled cheese sandwich i had shakes all day but i did eat a grilled cheese sandwich and then the third day i had one slice of sourdough toast with my uh, tomato soup and my protein shakes and i did that the next day one slice of sourdough toast is all i ate uh with my protein shakes and my um my tomato soup uh, and then after that, I did good. Um, and then <laughs> Friday, <laughs> Friday I had Chick-fil-A. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I ate Chick-fil-A on Friday. And um, not Friday, Thursday. It was Thursday because Friday started my clear liquid diet. And I don't know why I did it because the mind plays tricks on you. And I think my mind was playing tricks on me like, Oh my God, you're not going to be able to eat nothing for the next 30 days. You will be forced to be on nothing but liquids, uh, clear liquids because of the surgery. Um, as you know, you drink out of these little plastic containers and they say that fills you up. Um, you can look at other uh, YouTubers as well. Uh, my cousins, my cousins, my uh, nieces have had this surgery, uh, people I know, uh, friends I've known, and they all say the same thing. Once you had that surgery, you're not going to be able to eat anything. And I think that's what was playing tricks in my head. <laughs> so I ate that Chick-fil-A on Thursday, and it was good. And that was the last meal I had um, prior to my surgery. So if you guys have any questions or anything you want to know, uh, just leave it in the comments field uh, below and, and I'll let you know. I'm going to be packing my bag um, tomorrow, Sunday, for my surgery Monday. I have to be at the hospital at 8.30 a.m. and so they can prep me for my surgery. Um, also, if you've gone through this let me know what your experience was was like when you went through uh this type of surgery if you've gone through one and guys remember you can follow me on tiktok instagram and here on youtube all under Valida's world if this is your first time please Subscribe to my channel and follow me on this weight loss journey and life after retirement. Another thing, um, share my videos with friends and family, especially if there's something you find that you like. I guess that's going to be all for now. I just wanted to pop in and say hi. We're celebrating my birthday today. I can't do much celebrating. I don't want to be out and around people uh, because I don't want to get sick prior to surgery because they won't do the surgery. So I'm being very cautious and careful 
uh, the last few days and pretty much just staying within my house. If you're returning, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for following me along on this journey. And please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, you guys. Don't forget to share my videos and don't forget to leave comments below. I like it when you ask questions or you leave comments below and I will respond. And as always, you guys, remember, peace, love, and happiness is the only way to live. Bye for now.